Hello everybody, the Lance One Uppercut, a pointless peasant, most handsome invader in the known universe. <laughs> what you're gonna see here today is a different video than what we're usually doing here, so I hope you're gonna like it and enjoy it. Just a heads up and warning, this video contains a bad English, so my apologies on that part. Uh, today I want to discuss a little bit about what our beloved game became, generally about mentality of players, and of course related to that never-ending story about glitches. This is gonna be my opinion on the subject, my point of view. Lately I heard a lot of, a lot of stories related to glitches and explanations about them, and also theories trying to justify their usage. People speaking about them, that they are tech, that everybody doing it, so you gotta adapt to that and embrace it and so on and so on. I'm gonna jump right to the case. They are nothing but a bad thing. They are changing game in a bad way. And in the end, they are nothing but a cheating, alright? Before we get on the subject why, uh, let me just mention another stupidly interesting theory to me that I often hear and uh, that is that you will hear a lot of people talking about glitches as they separate them on the good and the bad glitches. Most ridiculous thing to me is that this is what people that use glitches are saying. Their point of view. You gotta choose the side. There is no difference between them. It's all the same thing. I usually like to compare when people asking me about my opinion, you know, like difference in between glitches. Like, let's say you're robbing a store, you know, you're gonna took five dollars or a five thousand dollars. Is there a difference? It's the same thing. You're doing a robbery. Mr. Officer will not, you know, like you just uh, rob for a five dollars. It's all right. Go on. Do it again. And now you're gonna get in the freaking jail for both of them. It's the robbery. The same thing with the glitches. There's no difference. It's gonna be a summon in a gang that is uh, unscaled and people will say, you know, like, uh, oh, that's cheating. That's really bad glitch, you know. But on the other hand, he is using like seven different glitches. Estus canceling, refilling, cancel my appointment at two o'clock. It's the same thing in the end, you know, they're all glitches. In my opinion, they're all bad. They're changing game in so many ways. You choose a side to be invader, so deal with it. Yes, the guy that is unscaled will do more damage, but also bow glitch will kill somebody with no effort at all, with no skill at all. You know, just a little bit muscle memory, what buttons do you push to cheat there? So, I'm speaking that from a point of view because I'm not using any of those glitches. Check it out in the videos, you can check it out in the daily streams, I'm never using glitches whatsoever. On the other hand, I don't mind, I kinda don't mind that people using glitches, you know, like, I don't, I don't just give a crap. My opinion is, you know, like, you're gonna use those glitches and all the things there, alright, alright, I'm gonna just try to beat you. I'm gonna beat you with all those things that you're giving yourself some more advantages than a usual, and that's gonna be a double win in my book, since you're cheating. And of course, a lot of you will say, oh, that's not cheating, you know, and that kind of a stuff. It is, it is. So, if the unscaled down Phantom is cheating with, you know, like being uh, 802 and he's playing on um, meta level and got that juicy 802 damage, he's cheating with the damage, of course. But also, if I'm fighting you and you Estus cancel on me when you are down to almost no HP and give yourself an advantage that you cannot be punished, you're cheating then. Just get good. <laughs> you know, we actually come to the point of game when there is no more normal subjects in a, in, a, in a game. What kind of a build? Is this weapon good? Is that weapon good? You know, like, um, how can I counter this? How can I counter that? The 99% of the subjects are related to a glitches and bad connections. And that's what this game become, in my opinion. You know, like, it's, it's all about that. It's all about that. Furthermore, speaking about cheating, glitches and all that, is it technique? No, it's not. Is it a skill? Definitely not. I cannot repeat that, you know, like enough. It's definitely not a skill, alright? 
let's move to a theory that you have to adapt to it. Again, poor excuse, justify situation there. Absolutely not true. From my point of view, I'm player that never use glitches and I beating all those gangs every day. You can see it on a daily streams. Here in the background, we got the two different situations that I prepare for you. This particular classic gang of the four man squad, dry finger world, a lot of things going on like always. There's overleveled phantom, there's a resummoning, there's you know like a bad connections and so on and so on. So many phantoms are changing and all that stuff. Different coin invaders dying in that invasion and I'm still there. So I'm fighting like 30 minutes. I'm still standing there after all these invaders coming in, dying, after I killed God knows how many blues and phantoms and all that stuff. I'm working my way. It's a hard thing. Of course, you gotta get sweat there for actually doing that. You know, like, that's a skill. And then just invader will come here. And, you know, like, in a second, he will end that invasion by doing a bow glitch. And you can see it right here, how easy it is. You know, like, how easy it is. This was the day that I was fighting them, like, uh, probably four times, five times, I don't know. And few times I fight them actually back to back. The same gang, same phantoms, everything the same. In the end, I managed to kill them. You know, like in 99% of the time we managed to kill them without any glitches. Just play, you know, have fun. Have some strategy there, you know, like use your brain and get them. Definitely let me know what you think about it, what you think about the whole subject. We will do a little bit different videos with a live commentating. We just scratched the surface here, so definitely let me know what you think in your comments, your opinion on that subject, and we will go from there for the next videos.